Today we are gonna taste five Chablis. Five Chablis? Yeah. <laughs> you made my heart very happy. Nothing could make me happier than five Chablis. Uh -huh. So previously we tasted a champagne and today Chablis. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Excited. So we are gonna taste two Chablis, two Premier Cru Chablis, one Grand Cru Chablis. But they're all mixed up. Yeah, they're all mixed up. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see if these guys are worth the money. Oh yeah, exactly. And I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it anyway. I can't wait. Okay. And uh, what you just said was the point. To see if they are worth the money. Yeah, because yeah. I prepared one inexpensive Chablis and one more expensive Chablis and one moderately priced Premier Cru Chablis and one extremely highly priced Premier Cru Chablis and then there's no such thing as anything other than highly priced Grand Cru Chablis. Uh, you're right. we, we know that. <laughs> right. But what is interesting, this extremely highly priced Premier Cru Chablis is more expensive than, than the Grand Cru. Chablis Grand Cru. Okay, so it's obviously one of the big names, but we'll see if there's value there. That's All the right. point. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, are you excited? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I serve you. So I'm presuming that you don't know the order either. No. Okay, No. that's true. You yeah, mean, that yes. is true. You don't mean no, you mean yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I don't know the order, or no, I don't know the order, or no, I do know the order. <laughs> no, I don't know the okay. order. <laughs> okay. English is so difficult. <laughs> do you know the reason why we taste the Chablis today? Because you've been promising to taste me some very, very good wine. Uh huh. And do you remember when I promised it? When we had those unbelievably <laughs> horrible Chardonnays with so much bourbon barrel, was it? <laughs> no, it was not with a bourbon barrel. Oh, okay. But Whatever it was, it was not much better. I know. <laughs> Very cheap, under $10 Chardonnay. Chardonnay. <laughs> Starting with a CH. <laughs> but totally different, right? Well, Chablis, Champagne, Chardonnay, I suppose, but with Chardonnay, when I say... <laughs> Some more? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that we are planning to drink these later with dinner, right? Yeah, right. I won't have more unless she's coming soon. Then I'll have more now. <laughs> I have told Valerie to open some red wine. All I've told her is you can open anything in my cellar that you want. <laughs> and it needs to be really, really good. Okay. Just in smelling them, there's no 2014s in here. There is no 2014 here, okay. no. Just smelling them, I can smell them. It's something so, so special. Mm -hmm. For me, of all the vintages that I ever had that I really, really loved, the ones that stick out in my mind are 8 and 14. Mm -hmm. And I still look for 14 where, wherever I go. It's, it's very difficult. I can buy some. Can I start? Yeah, of course, <laughs> please. Okay. So, what do you think about the overall quality? I'm unhappy. You're unhappy? Yeah. Okay. I love the piercing, minerally character of Chablis. Mm -hmm. Pure Chablis, preferably Chablis in a cooler year. 08, 014. There was nothing here. I mean 14. Mm -hmm. There was nothing here of that 08, 14 quality. Mm -hmm. The wines are big. Mm -hmm. It's almost like global warming wines for me in a way. Alcoholic. A few of them had oak on them. Some of it too much oak, uh -huh. which is like for me an aberration. Uh -huh. Getting back to the death penalty perhaps for some of these guys. Uh -huh. These were to me vintages that do not allow specifically the kind of of uh, Chablis that I like, uh -huh. which is that really focused, piercing, minerally Chablis. I mean, they're good wines and mm. I love to drink them, but I'm a little disappointed. How about you? I liked some of them very much. Uh, yeah. And I thought one of the wines was flawed. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, one of the wines is flawed. Yeah. It had VA, yeah. it was oxidized. Yeah. Um, lots of VA, you know. Lots of right? VA and, and oxidation. Which one was that for you? Number three. Number three. Yeah. 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 So that sort of threw me out because I was looking for these gradations in, in quality. Because you had said there are two straight Chablis, mm -hmm. one moderately plus, one low price. Mm -hmm. Then there are two Premier Cru's, one moderately plus, one outrageously priced, mm -hmm. and then a Grand Cru. Yeah. And I'm thinking, this one tastes like it wants to be a Premier Cru, mm -hmm. but the quality is poor. 
But is that the quality based on this bottle, mm -hmm. or is the whole batch poor? Mm -hmm. So I got to mark this wine down because it's flawed. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean to say I can say I can't taste through it and say, oh, it should have been this. I mean, who knows? The whole lot might be like this. So that that might have thrown me out in terms of calibrating everything. No, oh, yeah, yeah, for me too. Yeah, yeah. I hold Chablis to a very high standard mm -hmm. because it's my go-to drink. <laughs> right. <laughs> You always hold a high standard almost for everything. <laughs> well, I'm getting old and I've only got one liver. And if I'm going to waste it, I want to waste it on really good stuff. <laughs> right. So everything has to pass a very high bar. <laughs> right. Do you want to check what the number three is? Yeah, so number three, mm -hmm. what I thought was number three was one of two things. It was either the cheap Chablis or it was the moderately priced Premier Cru. Then uh, shall we check it sure. first? Because uh, anyway, it's flawed. It is flawed. Yeah, it's flawed. I mean, you and I both picked it up. Yeah. So. Oh my God. Domaine La Roche, Chablis Premier Cru, Les Montmains, 2017. That's the lower price of the Premier Cru, right? Yeah. So that should not be like it. And La Roche is a very, very serious producer. Yeah. And Montmain is a great vineyard. Uh huh. That was the reason why I chose this bottle. So we are not sure if only this bottle is flowed or the whole batch is right. flowed. How much, Jay? Fifty dollars. I would feel terrible if I had paid fifty dollars. But you, you don't feel terrible because I paid for it. No, I do feel terrible. <laughs> it's eliminated. Yeah, it's eliminated. We are done with it. Yeah. <laughs> we give it to my wife. <laughs> I'm and gonna my, do and that. And my wife. And my wife. <laughs> we can do that happily. <laughs> <laughs> So this was very difficult. I actually prefer the second to last one, much prefer it, but there's a slight, slightly more richness to this. Now that may be vintage or whatever. I so have goosebumps because the number four is my favorite one. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's my favorite one. Yeah it's, yeah, it's very good. And then number five, then number two, and then number one. Oh, I'm quality. different. So one, uh -huh. two, three, uh -huh. four, because I don't like the oak on the second. Okay, in so my case one, yeah, two, you, you, we have three, just this, four. Yeah, on, on the first two. Yeah. Okay. And then here it's, it's difficult for me because I really prefer, it's more traditional, it's more direct. It's a winemaker putting it all out there, uh -huh. saying, I got great fruit, let me not mess with it. Yeah, when I took a sip of uh, number four, I really felt happy. It's got that chalky character. I much prefer it. I'm trying to figure out the underlying quality of the fruit. And so I'm guessing that that's the premier crew. And it is worth more money than the Grand Cru, if that's the Grand Cru. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's, that's where I am. I was hesitating between these two, if this one was Grand Cru or this one was Grand Cru. But... We're in agreement though, which is the better one. Yeah, number four is better yeah, it's one. the better one. Yeah, it's pure and it's so delicate and yeah, elegant. It's, it's, it's really lovely. Yeah. I didn't uh, spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beauty of uh, the tasting of good wines. <laughs> but we didn't talk about each wine. Okay, let's right? do it. Wine number one. You've got hints of chalk. It's quiet. It's a little bit bland, mm -hmm. but it's got lovely grip. Chardonnay is a bland grape. That's why we use mellow lactic and oak and all the rest of it to try and give something to it to give it character because Chardonnay is a bland grape. This is honest, mm -hmm. beautiful Chablis. Here you've got the grip from the terroir. There's grip, there's weight, there's something that makes you sit up and take notice. You know? mm. It's medium length, it's got good acid. It's just, I expect from great Chablis, more. But what they've done is they've taken their fruit sauce and they've made really, really nice one. Uh -huh. And they're to be congratulated for this. They, they were bold. They didn't try to cover it up with artifice. They've made lovely wine. Do you want to see? Yeah. Chablis number one. Oh my God. My God. <laughs> this is the most expensive one. I liked it. I just didn't find the, the complexity there. Me neither. Chablis Premier Cru, Vaud Laurent, 2018, and William Fevre, which is a super famous. Good, good producers, yeah. Yeah. And it's $85. Wow. That's too much, Jay. It's too much. It's too much. These guys did it right. They had the balls to make the wine, not put it in oak, etc, etc. But the complexity is lacking. And the richness that comes from a, a Premier Cru site is lacking. 
This is good, but it's not worth the money. Yeah. Wow. It's a shocking day today. So far, so shocking. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. far, so shocking. Now we only have two Chablis and one Grand Cru. I think that's the Grand Cru, even though I like this one the best. Why do you think uh, this is Grand Cru? There's a slight richness, uh, but I, I hate that new oak. But considering that there are two Chablis on I the think, rest of... Yeah, that's amazing, right? Yeah, they are, I they are really the good. I think the two Chablis are two and four. Two and four, right? Yeah. Even though you prefer number four to number five, because yes. it is purer. Yes. Shall we talk about number two? Now, number two's got a lot of oak, mm -hmm. but as I taste it more and more, the oak's getting better integrated. And I love the grip that the wine has. It doesn't have the richness that one would get from Grand Cru. I really love number four. I'm going to say that that's the lower price of the Chablis and that's the more expensive one. This is the cheapest one. Chablis 2018 Roland L'Aventure. It's uh, $28. It's worth the money. Absolutely. Yeah. The reason why you get that for a reasonable amount of money, who ever heard of Roland L'Aventure? <laughs> Beautiful bottle of wine. Yeah. For the money, it's, it's really good. Why number four? We already decided, right? Right. So this one is either Chablis or Grand Cru? Straight Chablis. Why number four? A straight Chablis? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Even though I prefer number four to number five. Yeah, I prefer it because the, the number five is overwhelmed with oak. Mm -hmm. You are out of wine. Why number four? Oh, I love that sound. <laughs> because it is a good wine. <laughs> If it I was... really didn't need any more. I just didn't want to get all that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> what was your question? <laughs> can, can you talk a little bit more about yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, wine the, number the, four? The color is pale, got some grip. It's got palate authority. Overall, it's good. Right now, I like it better than anything else. And I like the richness. I don't think that typically you get this kind of richness from regular Chablis vineyards. They would more likely be Premier Cru vineyards. This could simply be the richness of a high brightness vintage. This is so interesting to me. So before we unveil wine number four, shall we talk about wine, wine number, number five? five too? So wine number five has got lots of oak and there's richness here that to my mind comes from higher level vineyards. To my mind, to be quite honest, they've screwed up what mm -hmm. they have produced in the vineyard by putting it in wood. It's the winemaker right? should be sent to Puligny, Puligny. <laughs> or Napa. He should not be allowed to make Chablis. Uh -huh. Or if he does, he needs to have me watching him while he's doing it. You make wine like that in Puligny, it's expected. <laughs> right. But in Chablis for me, not so much. Leave the damn wood alone. You don't need it. When you've got perfectly ripened grapes on Kimmeridgian soils. Forget about the oak. Yeah, the fruit here, it's really beautiful. Yeah, it's rich. There's yeah. a richness here, which is what takes me to Grand Cru versus this wine, uh -huh. even though I prefer this. Yeah. But to me, this is a violation of the covenant that winemakers should have with their traditions. I really feel the quality of uh, the grapes here. But I, 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 th I think so. Yeah, it's covered with oak. It's covered right. with oak. It's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. So we uncover the oak <laughs> little by little. So let's have a look. Okay. So you think wine number four is a uh, Chablis? Uh, I think it's regular Chablis. Mm -hmm. And if it is, it is the quality wine and the quality price performer of the group. Yeah. Yeah. Wine number four. Um, yeah, it's a Chablis Vieille Vigne 2018 Christophe Effis. Again, who ever heard of Christophe Effis, right? Don't you know Christophe uh, living in Chablis? <laughs> 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 it sounds like uh, you, you don't know Peter living in Southern California. And how much was that? It's a uh, 38. 38? Yeah, 38 dollars. So it's expensive for Chablis. But, you know, if you can compare it to the Grand Cru, mm -hmm. it's a good wine. Christophe, good job. Very good wine. This is the quality wine, price for quality. And, and 2018 was a hard year for Chablis because it's so warm. But Vie Vigne, that probably helps. Now, I don't know what they mean by Vie Vigne. I mean, I know what they mean. They mean old vines. But what does it really mean? Mm -hmm. Old because they're a year older than last year? Or, or old because they're 35, 40, 45? 
years old. Uh, <laughs> or a hundred years old. Whatever. It sounds like you don't care about it that much. <laughs> it's very expensive Chablis, but it's exceedingly good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. And I so this is this. the Grand Cru, we need to send the winemaker to purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do this. It's a really pity because the quality of the grapes mm. is wonderful. All the guy had to do mm -hmm. to make this wine was to sit on his hands. That's all he had to do. Sit on your hands. Like this. Don't touch anything. <laughs> right? But she should touch the grapes. <laughs> so what did he do? New barrels. Uh -huh. Thousand euros a barrel. New barrels. Have you lost your mind? Don't you look at your fruit source? Don't you look at the traditions and the history? So you made a wine that in this lineup, and admittedly Jay and I were not perfect on, on our recognition of things, but you made a wine that in this lineup got beaten by a stretchably for $28. $38. $38, yeah. sorry. Go back to school! You always send people either to school or to jail. This one I think is savable. We can save you, just go back to school. Yeah. <laughs> or Pulini Mongache. Or Pulini Mongache. Go back to school or go back to Central Burgundy. No. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so Chablis is either you made a mistake or it's not your calling. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry Peter about is that. A, a particularly strict to Chablis, so I have a very high bar for Chablis. Okay. <laughs> we love you, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is Chablis Grand Cru 2019. 19. Les Clos, Domaine Pinson. $80. Not my $80. No. You take the wood out, make wine for less money, make better wine, mm -hmm. and you get my money. Yeah. Absolutely fascinating tasting. Scary as hell because I was disappointed. So what does that tell us? In a world of ever-warming vintages, mm -hmm. we're losing Chablis. We're losing Chablis. So what are these guys saying? Maybe these guys are ahead of the game. Maybe they're saying, you know what? We can't make Chablis like we used to make because the vintages are too warm. Mm -hmm. So now we need to make Pouligny Morosche. If I had tasted these wines as Pouligny Morosche, I would have scored them completely differently. Yeah. Isn't that funny? No, it's not funny. It's not funny. No. <laughs> it is sad. Monsieur Domaine Poisson et Frère. Mm -hmm. Hopefully there are enough frères to listen. Okay. <laughs> Don't do this. Okay. Uh -huh. Make wine with less wood or no wood, even in warm vintages. I'm pretty sure they'll be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm drunk, take me to bed. <laughs> I won't do that. Your <laughs> wife would do that. No, 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 no. Put me in bed is what I meant. <laughs> anyway, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> it just feels like the pricing system in Chablis, it's messed up. The viewers are going to watch it. They can say, we messed up. <laughs> if you want Chablis, there's something missing on these wines. Mm -hmm. I buy a lot of Chablis. I'm not impressed with the Chablis that I'm buying. And the reason that I'm not impressed is that I don't have that piercing, chalky, minerally character that I want from Chablis. A very dear friend of mine who, who imports Chablis into the United States has still got some 2014s. And so I bought the 2014s. Humble appellation, straight Chablis. 2014, you'd think, my God, you know, it's, two, it's seven years ago, right? Right. Wines are beautiful. It's really hard to make Peter happy, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I've, I've drunk five Chablis. And with the exception of the one, which was flawed. Okay, uh -huh. Anybody can have a bad bot. Just uh, disappointed at the overall quality compared to some of the great Chablis, you know, I have two kids and my kids know that I love Chablis and they love craft beer. So they're always scouting their liquor stores for the latest craft beer. And while they're there, they scout the liquor stores to see if they can find any 14 Chablis. Mm -hmm. And every time they find a 14 Chablis, they call me and they say, Dad, I found a 14 Chablis. Are you prepared to pay this much? And I say, don't 
Tell me the price. <laughs> if it's 14, just buy it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Peter? If I put this clip that you are talking about 2014, you won't be able to buy 2014 Chablis in <laughs> California anymore. <laughs> I think I will, and I think you should do that. But there's still about six or seven cases that I've got coming. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then it's gone. Please uh, keep some uh, for me. And for me. Yeah, and for you, yeah. and then I'm going to upload this video later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I need 2014 Chablis too. <laughs> Everybody needs 2014 Chablis. So how many cases can you secure for me and for you? Just for the two of us? Yeah, just for the two of us. Well, we and don't want to for talk our about wives. That. We don't want to talk about that because then they'll say, well, we want some, so. Uh -huh. So just for me and you, six cases. So that, sorry for you guys, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and later I'm going to upload this video. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, uh, that was for today. And please subscribe, then we can have a better Chablis with Peter later. You know what? It, the problem for, for us is to get better Chablis, we need shit weather. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want shit weather. So. But in France, right? Oh yeah, in France, yeah. that's true. Not it's, here. No, no, not here. Not here. <laughs> So no problem for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm really happy with uh, this number four. Uh, isn't it amazing? Yeah. I drank it. <laughs> it's okay. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. <웃음> 이럴 땐이 와인 네이버 밴드로 놀러 오시면 와인을 잘 몰라도 편하고 싸게 사실 수 있도록 제가 많이 도와드립니다. 다들 만족하시고 좋아하시더라고요.